Rocky Lombardi. Ball is loose. They got him from behind, and Rutgers will recover. Man, third and long, and they got the pressure. Lombardi didn't see him from the backside. That's just a great job right there, number 58. You can see the, the backer. Rutgers 10 tackles for loss right now. Again, pressure coming. Another fumble. With another fumble. Sack. I, it wasn't a sack, but it, it almost a, a sack. It's not as good as they've been or this uh, a big improvement by the defensive front on third down conversions here today Williams with the quarterback run and he's met there and well short by Mohamed Ture a lot of yardage needed here on third down Sane was still underneath oh he escaped one tackle but then Mohamed Ture a high snap put him off on that 53 yarder at the end of the half. A.J. Henning is in the game. He's in motion. And they go to Blake Corn and nowhere to go. Another tackle for loss. Moore and Bell at the top of your screen. Here comes the corner blitz. Plummer evades Avery. But he throws an interception. Mohamed Ture. What a play. You were asking when we would see that first big turnover of the day. Look at how much ground he covers. It's the third Rutgers interception of the season. Yeah, he's reading the quarterback's eyes, reading Plummer's eyes. Lejean sets his feet, floats that one over the middle. Well shy of first down yardage, completing to Cobbs, who's wrapped up there. Nope, no thank you. First and 10 for Nigerian. Chased out of the pocket and dumped. Iowa, Davion Nixon did it too, so you need to be uh, alert as well as uh, it is Toure slashing in from his outside linebacker position. He leads the Scarlet Knights in sacks this year. So both sides are short-handed tonight. Third down at 12 to Mills. Mills trying to fight, needed a few more yards and won't get there. Yeah, so they're dominating that defensive, uh, that offensive line. His numbers have dropped only two catches the last three weeks. But a big third down grab there. Now Allen tracked in the backfield. Scarlet Knights rallying and taking him down. As Elise mentioned, no Carson. Davion Irvin Poindexter starts a tailback. Balls to the ground early. It's loose at the 22-yard line. That's Rutgers ball. And Rutgers is set up brilliantly on offense. And so one of the things that happened, the, the snap was good. It just, it looked like the mesh wasn't very good. The young freshman quarterback, and you look at his strengths, what it is right now is his running ability. Second sack this season for Muhammad Toure. Yeah, he came untouched. He better make the play. On the Rutgers 41, Philippe Flicker. Hauled in by Tungavailoa and just throws that one away. Smart. You see, here it is. And then he flips it back to him. And in the course of that, I don't even know if he got outside the tackle box anyway. And he does throw it out of bounds. And then nine with the sunshine shining down. And down goes Hartman as Muhammad Ture makes the sack. Look at Ture coming on the loop stein. Zachary Franks, the right tackle, was able to recover it, but it's a major loss on the play. Third down and long. Pressure's coming, and Bryant's going down. It was Torre who spun right off of his blocker. He's right here. Keep your eyes on this guy throughout this play. He gets in, and watch how he dips down underneath his shoulder, and he's able to pull that left hand. We call a rip as he gets it through Tiernan and is able to swing. And they bring it up four players, and Rutgers wraps them up. Mohamed Ture, Aaron Lewis again on the play in the backfield, and another sack, and another loss of four. Stemmed back in between the A-gap. That changes the protection at just the last moment, and so now the matchup for the offensive line is different and almost unblocked. To not only flip the field, but give their offense pretty good field position if they can get a stop. Aker into the pile. It's going to be close. Apparently, he's pretty happy today. <laughs> Some big news for Jonathan Taylor signing the contract extension yep. with the Indianapolis Colts. That pass is complete for the tight end. Aiden Rucci ball on the ground. 
Rutgers says they have it. As soon as we think that Wisconsin is just going to please reset the game, give the ball to their back, closing in on 3,000 yards. They had four extra players still on the field. Yeah. So it makes it a little more manageable for Soresby, but down he goes. Mo Ture in on another play from linebacker for Rutgers to bring up fourth down. They do. And as a trick play. And it, the trick didn't work. And McCauley is roped out of bounds. Dixon did a great job of not biting on that. Wow, this is really cool. He said, now I know why people like going to the game so much. On first down, Ture will take him down. Because Ture is going to come. We'll try to identify who's supposed to block him. Their man on man on the right side looks to me like Henderson might have gone the wrong way. You never know for sure. Get it right, Tom. Just sat right down in it. And there the ball is intercepted. Ture. Eyes are wide. Out of bounds. Inside Ohio State territory. Like he was going for Harrison. Right, and he was, but Ture dropped in his zone coverage underneath it. If you're McCord, you got to layer this football, right? If you're going to throw it to him, you can't throw it right to Ture. And certainly not at the same level of play. Singleton. This time met right away when he got inside the five yard line. It'll be third down. Muhammad Ture. Forcing that thing back inside. Four yards to tie. Five for first place all time. And Tagovailoa runs out of time. Downfield. They took the they took the route away. Tagovailoa had to get off of it. And by that time. The pressure got there. Uh, Mark Fletcher Jr., the Miami running back, was helped off the field. Third down and eight for the Hurricanes. Brown feels the heat and gets dumped. Right off the bat because he's really their leader. Push through. They'll take advantage of it. Second and seven. They flip it out to Henry Parrish Jr. Made a nice move but got brought down. And guess who? Mohamed Ture, who was a beast on the first defensive possession for Rutgers. He makes it third down and long. This is one of the best run defenses in the Big Ten. Hard to run against this team, and you saw the great play. They isolate the safety and the nickelback of this formation. Strepo in the slot at the top of your screen. Instead, they go the other way on the swing pass, and Rutgers has the answer. 